Hi, my name is Brianna Janelle and I am 34 years old. I will be having my surgery done at Sonobello in the Indy office. So five years ago, I had weight loss surgery and I lost a ton of weight with that, right? It was great. However, it left me with a lot of loose skin. And unfortunately, five years later, I have really come to the conclusion that there is literally nothing else that I can do in order to regain elasticity in my loose skin and tighten and tone. So one day I, I remember just being on the treadmill and telling myself, you know what, Brianna, like you tried, you've done all that you can do. And you're at a point where it's time for you to truly enjoy the fruit of your labor. And Sonobello really came into play with that. I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed. Too much on my brain, but got it good, can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind. All right, y'all, so the time is now. I'm so excited. We are here at Sono Bello, finally. First consultation to remove Lucy. Y'all know how I feel about her and some other loose skin. Um, but yeah, today's the consultation, so we'll see kind of where we stand, what we can do, and move forward from there. Um, tell me a little bit, what brings you in? Because I know that that is kind of the biggest question I usually ask patients, like what brings you in? Oh, in well, I had um, the gastric sleeve okay. five years ago. And now I think that my body has kind of gotten to a place of where it's settling. And I just, yeah. you know, I'm not really fluctuating in weight, but I noticed that I have a lot of loose skin as a result of that. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of just wanting to see, I guess, the finished product, something that I'm able to maintain. Yeah. Um, because it's kind of hard to see with a lot of skin still still here so yeah so you're not alone i get a lot of patients that have came yeah. in that have had like the gastric sleeve mm -hmm. or gastric bypass done and they're kind of like okay i did this mm -hmm. went through the whole thing but i'm still not at like where i want to be like the the results that i'm looking for right right because i had two kids c-section as well so i know that kind of adds to it yeah as well. it does that definitely yeah. does so that's that's wonderful. I'm glad that you came in. Just want to go over some brief medical history with you. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're a safe candidate for the procedure. Okay. We'll jump in front of the mirror, kind of show me those areas of concern. Mm -hmm. I want to set realistic expectations for what we can do here for you, okay? okay? We'll do height and weight. I will go over the whole procedure from mm -hmm. start to finish, what to expect day of, and then also go over recovery and what that looks like. Okay. Um, what's nice is I've had the procedure myself, so I can tell you everything that yes. kind of goes into it. Cool. What are your expectations? What are you wanting to get out of the procedure? <sighs> Just the, the loose skin. I think that, I don't know if you've seen on my social media, but I do a lot of like weight training. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you can only see so much of it. Like yeah. there's just, I mean, there's a certain point where I'll get really toned, really lean. Um, but I still want to really see the fruit of my labor at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, you broke um, your butt off. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, and then too, I feel like I'm at a place where if I don't do it, yeah. then you just won't see what I've even worked kind of for. Future. Yeah, future. so it would be something that I would 365 have to always yeah. continue to do in order to keep that look. And I feel like the skin has a lot to do okay, with that. Okay, girl, so one, your abdomen is beautiful. When yeah. we see patients that have lost so much weight, mm -hmm. a lot of times their belly button will drift down and they'll be really far down wow. here. And that means that sometimes they have to have a full abdominal plasty. Oh, okay. With our procedure here, what we do is we make one small incision inside your belly button. Mm -hmm. and we get all this squishiness that's right here. Mm -hmm. So everything that you're feeling kind of squishy, mm -hmm. we go in right here, here and get all this squishiness right here. Now in the lower abdomen, you have, I mean, you have a little bit of skin. Do you mind pulling this down oh, just yeah. a little bit yeah. just so I can see that skin? Okay, so you see where that skin is right mm -hmm. there, right? So we make two small incisions down here, uh -huh. right in there. And what we do is we go in and we get all the squishiness that's right here. What we do then is we make it thin like the skin on our hands okay. so that we can pull the skin down uh -huh. and give the look of a full tummy tuck. So you still do have that incision where you're gonna have kind of where that skin starts uh -huh. to fold over is kind of how far that scar has to kind of go. Okay. But what it does is it pulls the skin down nice and tight. So it makes it so that you're flat from here all the way down to your pubic area and we get rid of all the skin that's oh, right here. That's just so yeah, beautiful. That, that's the stuff, girl. Yeah, and so we pull that down really nice and tight. This right here mm -hmm. is your waistline and waist is my favorite area because not only does it bring in 
more of that hourglass look, mm -hmm. but it goes back around and gets back here yes. too. Yeah. And so that's nice. It makes two small incisions back here also. Okay. But what it does is by pulling this down and by pulling this nice and tight, mm -hmm. we give the aesthetic look of a full abdominoplasty, but that's it's cool. less recovery. And cool. it, you'd be an awesome candidate for it, especially with your belly button placement. I mean, girl, how your skin is retracted back is beautifully. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's definitely yeah. something with losing as much weight as you have. Mm -hmm. It looks good. I have to show you my before. Yeah, like, I have was, to see it. Yeah. It was like definitely out and more down. It was. Like over my. It's, I mean, it's retracted back really, really well. I mean, that's that retraction looks really good. That's good. Um, that's a good. lot of bariatric patients that I see, they've got skin that hangs really, yeah. really low. Mm -hmm. And we can still treat them. It's just a matter of redoing their belly button mm -hmm. um, with our Abby X procedure versus keeping with, with yours. I don't, I don't see any kind of redoing of your belly button. I think you're, you nice. think you'd be an awesome candidate. Now you're, you're, you're going to look more like tightness right yeah. there and down, mm -hmm. but I think, um, I think you'd be an awesome candidate for our procedure. I really do. Now we have the procedure done. No, I know. So you can see like this is where we, this is where we got her mm -hmm. and then continue and diet and exercise gets you wow. where you want, where wow. you kind of want to be. So yes, did we get her a flat tummy? Yeah. Does she does she look wow. ten times better? Yes, but sometimes doing that diet and exercise even more mm -hmm. gets you the results of where you want to be. I see. So for lots of women, I think of going to the gym. Right, we go to the gym for two weeks and I lose like two pounds. Right. My fiance skips a damn meal and he's he's That's down it. fifteen pounds yes. and I'm just so frustrated. So I think for a lot of people, it's a jump start back on track of where they really want to be. Yeah. But also, you drop sizes so quickly mm -hmm. that you see the results more quickly. So you're more motivated to kind of stay on track. Right. And that's, that's for some women, that's, that's kind of that's, it. Yeah, that's the motivation. But even when we see this right here, um, like of that skin removal, mm -hmm. you can see just kind of by removing that excess yeah, skin. Yeah, how much how inches. Much, how much she looks. These contours. Yeah. Tell me what your concerns are. Um, <coughs> my main concerns are definitely this area. I had um, weight loss surgery, oh, yeah. so what like kind of extreme. What kind of weight loss surgery? Gastric. Gastric sleeve. Bypass sleeve. 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 Yeah. Yes, five yeah. years ago. Was that done in Indy area? Or? Yes, that was done. Community, community North. Okay. Yeah. So this How much weight do you feel this? 110 pounds. Nice. Yeah. Good. So your biggest concerns of extra skin and the fullness yes. on your tummy. Yes, this back row, as a result of it, you know, kind of comes from that. Waist area is what yeah. you got on there, so mm -hmm. that's how we'll look at it. So go ahead and take your gown off all the way from mine because I've had some legs that are on the back real well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this pinch, we can get, we, you know, we can get the stuff out in front of your muscle. Okay. And back here, you can feel your muscle. That's the mm -hmm. side. You can't address that, but you're pretty good there. Okay. And so we can suction this down and then this down. So when we do the EXs, mm -hmm. you suction this all out first, mm -hmm. and then we pull the skin and okay. cut it off. Your incision is probably gonna come pretty long, mm -hmm. but we try to keep it as low as possible. I mean, your crease keeps going, so it's, oh, yeah. it's probably gonna stop about, it's probably gonna go from about there to there. Okay. And when I look down here, we're gonna be about seven centimeters above your female part. So. Okay. And so we try to keep that, so, we try to keep that as low as possible. So incision is going to be across here somewhere. Okay. That Which I have one right here already from us. You yeah. So what we try to do is be the loved ones. Mm -hmm. That's not it, is it? There's there's two. One is down. There's one's right there. Funny little groove right there. Yeah. It stops there, so I'm not sure. It looks like it's just a crease. Or something. But anyway, your scars are usually here. Mm -hmm. Generally, we'll be about here with incision. Now when we put it down here and we pull it. This incision oh. will raise up some, okay? Well, so it makes it stay that. Nice well, it'd be tighter, <laughs> yes, you're right. Oh, yeah. It does tighten that. Okay. So if you're loose there, it tightens that up. Yes. So I think you got enough laxity of skin and enough up here that we would do what I call, we call ABX. It's more like a tummy tuck. We'll cut around your belly button. Mm -hmm. And we'll take the skin above your belly button. Okay. And we'll pull it down. Oh. So you get more tightness up here and you'll lose a little bit of this laxity. Okay, yeah. If you, if your breasts up. Yeah, because it'll be. Because you know, you're about, your belly button's about two thirds of the way down with your weight loss. Generally your belly button gets lower mm -hmm. and it makes it a little easier to get more skin out. Oh, okay. And so, 
And then your belly button's got some folds, and so I think in some ways we can make your belly button look a little nicer too. Yeah. If I just do this, your belly button's gonna look the same. Right. Okay. I think so people with that little you can look a little now. I'm sorry. No, okay. turn, turn around. So when I do, when I say, you say waist is what they're talking about. This mm -hmm. is your this is your hips. But yeah. I would say this is where your hips end. Mm -hmm. Your waist starts here. So generally, I sneak up a little bit, but this waist area is going to incorporate pretty much suctioning in this area. Okay. And I usually come almost all the way to the spine. So you'll be suctioned like in that area, okay? Okay. And you already got some curves starting here. We can just get rid of, you know, some of the extra fullness down. Yeah. I can't promise you these creases go away. I'm going to try my darndest they, to get them out. They've been there okay. my whole life. So yeah. your skin's got memory and it's extra yeah. skin, but we're going to suction it under it and across it and mm -hmm. on both sides. And hopefully this one's not too bad. You know, people are a little worse on one side yeah. than the other. You're turning and looking, so you might be. Yeah. I think this side's a little worse, but we're going to do our darndest to get it out. But you, you follow where I'm, yeah. the areas we're going to do? Yeah. You good with that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And you can put your gown back on. Say so your surgery's at uh, 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So they'll tell you to come at 11.30. So hour and a okay. half. You come an hour and a half before surgery. You'll go back there and you'll get dressed. You'll get to wear this lovely outfit. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And then uh, they'll put an ID in you. Hand or arm. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come in and I'll mark you where we're doing the surgery. Like what's wrong? Your tummy, mm -hmm. you know? I like to draw the line at the bottom, not all people, but I like to draw a line on the bottom. And we mark the areas we're going to suction. Mm -hmm. And after we do that, only after I mark it and we look at it, we'll give you some Xanax, mm -hmm. Percocet, and some Finnergan. They're all stuff to make you a little drowsy. Okay. You mm -hmm. take that little cocktail and you turn the lights off and you chill out for about 45 minutes. Okay. So that makes you relax. And mm -hmm. after about the 45 minutes, they'll have you get up, walk to the bathroom right in your bladder before you walk in the OR. Mm -hmm. They will prep you standing up, mm -hmm. paint all the way in the areas, so and then you walk over the bed and sit down yourself. Okay. When you lay down, I'll put a couple drapes on you. Mm -hmm. They'll put some pumps on your thought, on your calves, mm -hmm. to keep the vein blood moving, venous blood moving. And then the first part's what you're gonna feel. It's the part, the numbing part. So mm -hmm. it's two messing technique, is what we call it. You first start out with a little openings about this wide where we put a local in there. So it'd be little bee sting like shots, mm -hmm. one in your belly button, a couple down here for your tummy. Mm -hmm. The back side you'll have to, a couple back here usually, we're all about a quarter of an inch or so. We go in those little openings and right between your skin and your muscle, we take it in there in the fat and we go along and pump the fluid in. And so it soaks in, it constricts the vessels and all that so that we can come back and suction okay. so it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. We suction through the same holes. You know I'm going to be working on you. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel the vibration. You're going to feel me touching you and pinching mm -hmm. and checking out how much fat's left behind. Okay. And that suction process with upper and lower and waist would be about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. sure. So when we do the EX, we'll prep, we'll reprep you. We'll get some IV antibiotic mm -hmm. and then we'll do the excision. Okay. Like I said, you get to that point, you got me, because it's the easiest part to make people. Yeah. You just don't feel. A lot of people fall asleep during that part. Yeah. They'll be kind of nervous a little bit about mm -hmm. some of it. They'll be awake and talk and do this. Mm -hmm. Get to the tummy, and next thing you know, it's like yeah, they're snoring. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I always yeah. say that's music to my ears when they're snoring. But yeah. Anyway, when we're done, we have all the stitches run to the skin. There's tape over it. Mm -hmm. And they'll put pads and their garment on and everything, and you'll drain a couple bodies swell after two or three and mm -hmm. take a while to heal and all that stuff. Yeah, and you would say recovery is roughly... I always answer the questions like, what do you mean by recovery? I what know. is it? When can I do this? When can I do yeah, that, right? Exactly. Well, let me tell you how kind of healing process goes. So, you know, the first day, even with your garment in the swell, you're going to look and go, hey, there's a nice difference. Mm -hmm. In two or three days, you might go, I don't see much difference. Right. It swells up pretty good. Mm -hmm. That firm... Um, fairly severe swelling will usually go away in two to three weeks, I think. Okay. Everybody's different, mm -hmm. but two or three weeks, the worst part, and it can be hard, mm -hmm. numb, tingle, itch, burn, all sorts of weird things. About six to eight weeks, I think most people have a pretty good idea how they're going to look. They're not healed. You'll still have some firm areas, you'll still have some swelling, you'll still have some tenderness and spots. Mm -hmm. But in about that range, you'll, you'll kind of 
you're gonna have a great idea for how it looks, you know. I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed. Too much on my brain, but got it good, can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind, and time's hard to find. What's a girl gotta do to catch a break?